ABD'de son zamanlarda yapılan anketler her 3 Amerikalı'dan birinin İsrail'in Gazze'ye yönelik işgale dönüşen saldırılarının soykırım olduğuna inandığına ortaya koyuyor. Bu rakam Amerikalı gençler arasında ise %49'a kadar yükseliyor. Bu da her iki Amerikalı gençten birinin İsrail'in Filistinlere yönelik soykırım yaptığına inandığına ve İsrail ordusunun Gazze'ye yönelik operasyonlarını desteklemediğine işaret ediyor. What's happening in Gaza and what has been happening in Gaza as well as all of Palestine since 1948 is a violent dispossession of homes and people from their homelands. Um, we are actively witnessing a genocide happen in real time being funded by United States tax dollars. The same people that are training the NYPD that are circling us right now is the IDF. We are clearly very much in bed with Israel and supporting the state of Israel um, and everyone here supports a immediate ceasefire an end to the siege in Gaza and an end to the occupation unequivocally and an unequivocally free Palestine. That's what everyone here supports. I think that the memory of the Holocaust and what has happened to our people in the past is being used to justify a genocide right now. I think the language that's been used by the Israeli parliament as well as the Israeli prime minister has been in and of itself genocidal, referring to themselves as the children of God and as Palestinians as others. It is a textbook genocide. It violates the international codes of convention. It violates the Geneva Conventions on Genocide and it violates international law. It's a genocide, plain and simple, ethnic cleansing. As you can see the proof, you, all you have to do is watch any of the videos that are on social media because the mainstream media is not showing it. You guys are, I know that. And you can see that they've hit almost uh, every piece of infrastructure in Gaza. They've hit all the universities, they've hit all the schools, they've destroyed everything. Over 13,000 children killed. The list goes on and on and on. They committed genocide before, they committed genocide now, and they're going to continue to commit genocide for as long as the governments don't get involved and make them cease fire. Because when you pay attention to what's going on, and you sit back from the, from the outside looking in, all you see is hatred, murder, and determination to erase a whole people. And that's, when you understand that's what's going on, you understand where it's going.